Hi, this is Dr. Udresh. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Medical Microbiology Guide. Please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. In this video, we will study the life cycle of Plasmodium falciform. The life cycle of Plasmodium falciform is complex. It involves two hosts. The definitive host is female anophelin mosquito and the intermediate host is man. In the definitive host, that is the anophelin mosquito, the sexual cycle will take place whereas in the man, the asexual cycle takes place. The sexual cycle is called as porogony and the asexual cycle is called as schizogony. Now let's see the schizogony. When an infected mosquito bites a susceptible individual, it injects the sporozoids into the skin. These sporozoids, they travel through the dermal tissue and they reach the blood or lip. The sporozoids from the blood, they reach the liver. In the liver, they bind to the hepatocytes. There are some specific receptors at which the sporozoids will go and bind. Sporozoids will be having circumsporozoid protein. With the help of circumsporozoid protein, they will bind to CD81 receptor along with the co-receptor SR1B, that is scavenger receptor 1B. Once they bind to these receptor, the parasite will induce the internalization of the sporozoids into the cytoplasm. So they will be taken into a parasitophorous vacuole and this vacuole will protect the sporozoids in the cytoplasm of the hepatocytes. In the hepatocytes, the sporozoids will get converted into trophozoite and trophozoite will start multiplying to form the merozoites. Once the sufficient numbers are formed, around 10,000 to 30,000 numbers are formed in the hepatocytes, they will be released into the blood. In the blood, the merozoites will go and attach to the RBCs. This hepatic portion of the life cycle is called as primary exoerythrocytic schizogony. Primary because that is the first time the person is getting infected. Exoerythrocytic. This is taking outside the RBC. The merozoids released from the hepatocytes, they will go and attach to the RBC. The siloproteins and glycophorins present on the RBC cell membrane attaches the merozoids and they get internalized into the cytoplasm of the RBC. In the RBC, these merozoids will get converted into the ring stage. Ring stage is the early trophozoite form. The ring stage will get converted into the trophozoites, that is a mature trophozoite. Inside these RBC, we can find yellowish brown hemozoin pigment. These trophozoites will get converted into the early schizont and the mature schizont will be containing around 10 to 36 merozoites in case of plasmodium falciform. Why this count of merozoites in schizonts is different species of the plasmodium has different number of merozoites per RBC. So counting the number of merozoites per RBC can give a clue in the identification of the parasite. RBC filled with merozoite will break down to release the merozoites into the circulation. Again, these merozoites will go and affect the fresh RBC to continue the erythrocytic schizogony of the life cycle. This erythrocytic schizogony will continue for 2-3 to three cycles and some of the trophozoites, they get converted into micro and macro gametocytes. 
This is called as gametogony. The process of formation of these gametocytes is little understood and they will be found in the peripheral circulation. Now let's see the sporogony that is the sexual cycle of the parasite. When the mosquito bites a infected individual along with the blood meal, it also ingests the male and female gametocytes. These male and female gametocytes will get united in the midgut of the mosquito to form a zygote. This zygote will get converted into the ookinate which is an elongated form. This ookinate will multiply and penetrate the midgut wall and reaches the body cavity of the mosquito. In the body cavity, the ookinate will be converted into a oocyst. Each oocyst will mature to release around 1000 sporozoids. The sporozoids that are released will reach the salivary gland and now the mosquito will become infective. When the mosquito bites an another susceptible individual, it transmits the infection and completes the life cycle. The process of ingestion of gametocytes till the mosquito becomes infective this is called as an extrinsic incubation period. This is around 1 to 2 weeks for Plasmodium falciform. That finishes the life cycle of Plasmodium falciform. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos.